hey guys welcome back to my channel today I filmed this makeup look and this is a makeup look that I recreated that I did on myself three years ago I am gonna put pictures um, so you can see the picture the picture that I did three years ago the makeup and today's makeup um, so if you guys want to see how I recreated my makeup look just keep watching all right you guys so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it and I'm gonna be starting well so I already did my foundation and my eyebrows just because today I want to focus more on my eye look since I'm gonna be recreating um, the look that I did three years ago when I first started doing makeup and I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my transition transition shade um, so I'm gonna be using this color here And it's going to be more of a one color look, you can say, because from the picture that you already saw that I inserted in the beginning, um, I only used the yellow shades, but I know I did use the, I used different undertones of yellow so I didn't just use one yellow so just gonna do my transition and I'm actually gonna use this shade here it's more of a yellowy shade so i'm gonna just go ahead and put that over top of the transition shade that i just used So the next palette uh, that I'm going to be using is the BH Cosmetics 2nd Edition uh, 120 color eyeshadow palette. It's like that. And I've had it for quite some time now. So it's a bit of a mess. I'm just going to pull this out. So yeah, I more dipped into those shades there I know I use I just did like a mixture so that's just what I'm gonna do so then I'm gonna take a brush like this I really don't know where I got this brush at I think I got it at Walmart a long time ago but any brush like that will do just to um, start adding that color in the crease and I'm gonna go in I'm gonna start off with this color here and then I'm gonna mix that lighter yellow and I'm just gonna go in the crease and start building that up so I am gonna be improvising um, on the lip color just because I don't have the lip color that I was wearing in the picture so I'm just gonna improvise and use the closest color that I got but it'll still look bomb you guys don't worry I was just looking back at like my older pictures and I was like okay you know when I first started doing makeup and my eyeliner, it was really hard for me to do eyeliner back then. I would practice so much, you guys. But 
I only found like a couple of pictures where my eyeliner was looking a little crazy but in that picture that I'm recreating it actually came out looking kind of bomb so practice makes perfect guys so I would literally just practice until I got it right I would get so frustrated though I started off doing like a little tiny wing yeah and then my eyebrows too so when I first started doing makeup in uh, cosmetology school my eyebrows I remember I did them so dark like black you guys yeah I didn't know but don't take makeup so serious supposed to be fun so yeah I'm just building this up to my liking and just kind of going back and forth in the crease and taking it a little higher so then I'm gonna go in with I'm actually going to take this darker shade of yellow and I'm going to start putting that in uh, the outer corner and then just kind of blending that back into my crease. Mixing the color previously to this color. not really showing up on camera but in person looking at it it is coming up So then for the lid shade, I'm going to go in with this shade here and I'm going to mix it with this corner one and just apply it all over the lid. I'm just gonna go back in with this shade here and I'm gonna go back in with my in my crease just to make it a little more vibrant okay you guys so then I'm gonna go back in to my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna highlight the brow bone using these two shades there Oops. using those two shades and just highlight the brow bone so that's it for the eyeshadow um, I'll go back to the lower lash line later on um, so then we're gonna go ahead and move on to wing liner so I'm gonna um, tight line my inner rim with a brown eyeliner pencil And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my wing liner, but um, I'm gonna just kind of speed through it, okay?
okay so this is the eye look and now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the rest of the face and I'm gonna go ahead and conceal using my Maybelline age instant or er, instant age rewind so I'm gonna go ahead and just conceal my under eyes and everywhere else I want to conceal and highlight bring back light to my face And then we're just gonna go ahead and set our concealer with the NYX HD pow uh, powder and the banana shade and you just go ahead and set all over where I concealed. And then we're just gonna go ahead and bake And then I'm gonna so I did pick up this NYX uh, mineral matte finishing powder and the color light medium um, I have barely purchased this yesterday just kind of wanted to try it out so we're gonna just go ahead and set the rest of the face with this powder I don't know. I don't like the smell. <laughs> it has a really weird smell to it. It's so messy. And then I'm just gonna wipe away the forehead beak and just powder that. And my chin as well. Okay, we'll see how I feel about this powder. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. And to contour my cheekbones, I'm gonna be using the 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 matte bronzer by NYX. And this is in the color medium. And then with my bronzer, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend everything in.
And then let's go ahead and wipe this away. Apply some blush and today I'm going to be using the NYX blush in the color peach. Looks just like that. I feel like I want to blend that in a little more. You guys, and if you're barely um, playing around with makeup and learning how to do your makeup, practice makes perfect, you guys. No matter how frustrated you get, just keep practicing because you will get better. Trust me. If I got better, you will get better. I'm going to go ahead and highlight my cheekbones, my nose, and the tops of um, on the tops of my eyebrows. I'm going to be using my Nicole Guerrero um, highlight palette and I'm going to be using Forever Young and it, this is Glow Getta. And I'm just going to place it on the cheekbones. I really love this palette, you guys. It's my favorite palette and I really wish I would have gotten another one because I really don't use this one very often um just because i don't want to waste it because there's no more she only came out with like out with um one what am i trying to say no so like she never restocked it later you get what i'm saying um it only came out once so i'm kind of bummed that i didn't get another one because they're not you can't get it anymore not that I, I don't think so. I mean, I haven't looked recently, but for the most part, I don't think, I don't think it's on the Anastasia website. But this is my favorite um, highlighting palette though. It's so pretty. And I just like keep adding highlight because I like to drench myself in highlight. <laughs> so, then I'm going to just kind of blend everything out just a little bit just so it melts into the blush, the contour, all that. All right, so now back to the eyes and now that my eyeliner um, now that my eyelashes are pretty much dry they're not gonna you know move around on me um, I'm gonna just go ahead and um, go over the lash band with my eyeliner just so that blends in Okay, so now let's go back to the eyes and we're going to go ahead and um, do the lower lash line. And I believe I did, so let me go back and look at the picture. Alright, so I had to go back in and look for the picture. Um, so because i didn't remember how i did the my lower lash line but um so i did do the brown on the inner rim and then really tightly i put the blue underneath so i'm going to just go ahead and do that really quickly So I'm going to go ahead and take a pencil brush and so I don't have the closest color for the lip um, so I don't want to do 
the at the blue I want to do the same blue that I'm going to do for my lip, but in the picture, um, I did do a teal lipstick and a, the teal um, lower lash line. But just because I'm going to improvise a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and use this blue color, and this is called Gonzo, and this is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. So I'm going to just go ahead and use that shade for my lower lash line. So I'm gonna do mascara on my upper to blend in the lashes and the false, my lashes and my falsies, and then the lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and do it um, yellow. I know I didn't do that in the in the previous, but I kind of want to just add a little more to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back with these two colors, and it's gonna place that on the inner corner, just to give it a little more oomph. You know what I mean? like so and then I'm just gonna kind of blend in that bottom like so just so it's not really harsh so to improvise for my lips I'm gonna be using this um, matte lip liner in the NYX brand in little denim dress and to go with it, I'm gonna be using the liquid lipstick, the same color. So we're gonna go ahead and line the lips. And there we have it, you guys. Yay! And now I'm just gonna give myself a little spritz with my Mara Badescu setting spray. Um, this stuff is bomb, you guys. Like I said a thousand times, it smells really good. Alright guys, so this is the final look. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video, if you like this makeup look, if you're feeling it, if you're feeling the hair. 
um and yeah thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you never miss out on a video and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye